what's up guys? Thank you for joining me again, Demon Driver here. And you guys are gonna join me for a taxi and EDF test on my customer's scratch built that I'm building, scratch built G650. This girl right here, Shane, you've been waiting a while to see this taxi test and you're gonna see it today, buddy. Enjoy. What you have here before you is my new scratch built G650. Customer is plain plane I've built for a customer, a young man by the name of Shane. She has about a wingspan of about 55 inches, fuselage about 54 inches long. She is tiny. Powered by twin Dr. Manthrust multi-blade EDFs, 50 millimeter, optimized for four cell brushless motors. She has her retracts fitted into place. I had to go with mechanical retracts for the main gear due to just the simple um, lack of space inside the thin wing and we have a serverless retract, retract nose gear. Um, the wing is mocked up on the fuse, it is not hard bolted, um, so if anybody sees any indiscrepancies there that's because of that. Um, hot wired, wide styrofoam fuselage white styrofoam nose and tail hollowed out white styrofoam hot wired huge wings everything then hollowed out and a 132nd balsa veneer sheet is put over everything and it gives her that nice old-fashioned kind of vintage balsa look look at that thing is that mean and jump in that and go to go to Barbados or go back to St. Lucia. These things have about a 6,500 mile range, 7,000 mile range, something like that. It's amazing. G650 from Gulfstream. All right, let's get this girl powered up and let's see how she handles. Shane, try and keep your jaw on your skull. And I'll try to keep her on the driveway. All right, here we go. Let's let's run this girl up and see what kind of power she's got. All right, let's try the off the line power test once again. Here we go. She got a real wide turning rate. British aeronautical engineer, Professor Snidely here, and I would say the main problem that we're looking at here with these engines here is a very simple one, but very painful to accept. And I think that is that these inlets are just too small. So I'm going to have to probably uh, modify them and um, it's not a big deal, just make them about 25%, 50% wider. Uh, I think that's the main problem. The CFM ratio, the airflow ratio is just not high enough. Um, Coming in the back is one thing, going out the, coming in the front in the inlet is one thing, going out the back is another. Um, that is not as important as long as it, it trust me, it can, it can jet out of those nozzles real good. So I'm going to have to uh, widen 
those uh, not those intakes by a bit. Not a big deal. A pretty simple modification. All right, let's taxi this girl around a little bit more. All right, for my buddy, for my customer Shane, give him a little bit more eye candy here. She sounds great. She really does. Well, in short, I'm very, uh, very pleased with uh, this G650 I have handmade. Um, she handles pretty well. She's going to need a little bit more um, right nose wheel steering. Uh, and of course, she's going to need what I think are uh, larger inlets on the two main intakes for the 50 millimeter EDFs. As you guys can see, that's not enough. That's just not enough. So that is gonna have, that modification is gonna have to happen. Only downside is you lose that scale look. That's the problem. This is where functionality wins over scale because we have to get this thing to fly. Uh, you know, I sell this to my customer Shane, he turns around, gets it at home, and it can't fly. He just wasted a lot of money, and I wasted a lot of time. So, uh, this is why you do the taxi test. This is an exact reason. Right now, right here, I just learned without any, with irrefutable, irrefutable proof, unmistakable proof, that these EDFs are not putting out the power they need due to a lack of airflow from the inlets. That's just, I can't escape that fact, so I have to make the modification. How did I learn this? By doing the taxi test. Um, you know, if you guys don't want to see any testing, you just want to see maidens, this is the wrong channel, okay? I'm going to do all my testing, I'm going to take my time, be methodical, discipline, perseverance, and patience. And that's why I get all these airliners and all this stuff built, and it all flies eventually, because I understand what it takes, you know, to do this. And I hope that this helps you guys learn these facts and, and accept these things. Because if you want to really be a scratch builder, you have to, you've got to get discipline, patience, and perseverance. You have to. You, it's just not going to happen. So I'm glad I did this test. I learned a big lesson. And uh, Shane, I hope you enjoy your G650. She's going to be coming to you soon. I'll make the modification. I'll put the photos up on my Instagram. And I'll email them to you. And uh, buddy, you have a great Merry Christmas. Your G650 is coming up. And to everybody here on YouTube and all over the place, from Demon Driver, have a Merry Christmas, have a joyous, wonderful Christmas, and uh, may God bless. Bye-bye.